Will he turn himself in? Tonight, the ex-con suspected in the deadly hit and run that killed a Brooklyn couple and their baby has a big decision to make. CBS 2's Dick Brennan reports on whether the driver is ready to surrender. He was said to be ready to give himself up, but there is no surrender from Julio Acevedo, the man suspected of being the hit-and-run driver in a horrifying crash that killed a young Williamsburg family, Razy and Nathan Glauber, and their baby delivered by emergency C-section. They have full lives ahead of them. Police say they've had no dialogue with Acevedo, but he's been talking. He told the Daily News, I didn't know they died until I saw the news. Asked why he fled the scene, he said he was scared of someone shooting at me. I was scared I just got shot at. Police are said to be examining videos shot immediately after the crash, including this one obtained by CBS 2 News. Just want to make sure that justice will be served and he's never going to come out of prison. People here in this tight-knit community say it's time he came forward. Police say they haven't even spoken to Acevedo's attorney, and they say right now they're still actively looking to arrest him. In Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Julio Acevedo was arrested two weeks ago, charged with DUI. He was also convicted of manslaughter in 1987.